episode, everybody. Who? Hello, everybody. Welcome to the after show. Hey, good show, everybody. We're fine, man. We're good dancers, man. Yep. A lot of people look at us and they say, Jesus, are you guys voguing? And we say, no, we're just good dancers. We're just good dancers. Mm-hmm. That's right. A lot of people look at us and they say, where are all the good dancers? And then we start moving and they're like, and they're like oh, there they are. Question answered. There they are. Yeah. Solve the mystery, Sherlock. We got them. Mystery solved. Yeah. Now, where's my heroin? Get out of here, Robert Stack. That's right. It's not an unsolved mystery anymore. Found them, those swiveling hips. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brett. Yes, sir. Do you have some notes and awards on the show? I do have three awards. Yeah. Uh, I would like to share them with you. You. With Good. You. They don't know who you're pointing to. I don't, so. I don't know. So, the first one is the... Feared by those with broken open top hats, bindles, and toothpicks used as smoking accessories. Yeah. Justin Robert, yeah. I, I, I had a, my cigar got stole by a vagrant. And yeah. I, I don't like, it's just such a funny phrase that it almost makes it worth it ha- happening to me. Yes. I think it was the guy with the two. That's what that's I, who think I think it was too, because here was another little bit of lore that I didn't say because uh, I was very terrified that just making fun of homeless people was sure. going to be with the takeaway of that. Sure. And I'm very glad that people got through it. Uh, <laughs> but so this is going to be a little bit uh, uh, like, yeah, geographic here, but like, sure. I'm coming up Manchac mm-hmm. and there is the big highway, 290 and 71. Yep. And. I the dude starts walking from and I'm sure what Bryce pointed out the hospital is is not far yeah and this motherfucker again he's got a tube hanging out of his stomach so like this is a bit of a horror show let me just also say rock solid abs rock solid abs the guy's jacked with the tube skinny okay he's skinny I don't know if I would say jacked but he definitely has abs right Uh, and he's got a tube hanging out of his stomach and he meant, no, I have my ear pods in and I am a veteran of many settings for which there are colorful characters on the street. Right. Uh, uh, so I am under, I, I know the rules of like, Hey, I'm staying out of everybody's way. I'm not trying to get, I'm not trying to cause no trouble. I'm just trying to matriculate my way down, sure. down, down man check. And so, it is not an odd thing for people to comment about my cigar. Yes. And usually it is a prelude to do you have cigarettes or do you have money? Okay. Uh, and so that dude, stomach tube dude, hits me with something about the cigar that I don't hear because I'm listening to my ear pods. And uh, I, I just go, smile, nod, acknowledgement of humanity. Sure. And then move Moving on. Moving on. Right. Because I don't want to be a total dickhead. I, I just want to not have a conversation. Right. With anybody. Sure. Uh, housed or unhoused. I, I, I really don't want to talk to fucking anybody when I'm on right. my walk. Which, by the way, a good way to telegraph that is to wear ear pods. I am doing everything I can to socially signal. I'm just trying. Hey, I'm walking here. That's That's really <laughs> what I'm trying to get across to everybody. And so he had mentioned the cigar and then was walking up Manchac. So if I were really to lay money down, there's only two real suspects. Either the man of the man woman team that argument, came in. Argument guy. Argument guy. Yeah. Or tube stomach guy. tube guy. Yeah. Asshole man was still showing his asshole down by the highway. So yeah. it, for him to do it, it would have been a real Ocean's Eleven style heist like to be showing me his asshole and then as i'm going in there he really sprints Just. past the abandoned long john silver and uh steals my cigar runs back stores it in a blinken's log cabin sure. and then uh moves along well does he pull his pants up and runs to get it or does he do that cute little scoot with his pants does he down pull, pull, uh, uh, can you confirm was this the penguin Yes. 
It would. Uh, uh, I'm going to leave that as the button joke, not because I don't want to keep going, but because we're entering into territory where there's no way we win. <laughs> Did, weren't we doing awards, Brett? Yes, yes, but this was an important we're, segue. We're uh, we also have, speaking of awards, huh. Bryce, we have the Edward V. Robinson Life Ruiner Award, which goes to Bryce G. Castillo, That's ladies right. and gentlemen. The, the G stands for good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> and the V stands for very. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Vice. By the way, Meryl Bart is fucking asking, why was the cigar left unattended? Uh, you got a, 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 a good cigar. Yeah. And you're walking 10 miles. Yep. At some point in the middle of that cigar, you're going to want another drink. Yeah. yeah. So you leave it outside of the convenience store. You go buy a drink. You walk back out. You pick up your cigar. You keep on walking. Because there's no I, smoking allowed I, hey, in the store. Hey, I'm walking. Yeah, what the fuck? You think this is Jakarta? I can I, just walk in here like I'm some fucking oil magnate puffing my cigar like so I can buy my $2 liquid death? I, I, I didn't want to... Uh, uh, I didn't want to derail the story in the moment, but I was thinking to myself, uh, the setting of the cigar made me think of when you're at a bar and you're like halfway through everything and you have to go to the bathroom, mm. what items of pocket litter do you intentionally leave on the bar so, <clears throat> so that nobody cleans up your half-eaten plate and your half-drunk beer or whatever uh, uh, so that you mark your spot? I, if it's a bar that I know... I will possibly leave wallet. I will not leave phone. Wallet? Yeah. Wallet, wow. That's the one that has the money in it. It's got your identity. But I know the bar. If I know the bar, and I know like how far the, the bathroom is, and I know I can get in and out of the bathroom, then I might leave a wallet. This, this might be a bit of a cliche, but I, I leave my keys because uh, uh, I drive a stick shift. And mm. I'm not terribly worried about somebody getting away with absolutely, my jeep. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, for me, uh, in my younger days, I would always have a paperback book with me that I would leave, and now I just leave my wife. So, uh, Whoa. Jesus Whoa. Christ! What just happened? <laughs> just straight, we just teleported straight to the Borscht Belt. What I know, is going right? on? <laughs> This is my time, okay? <laughs> Welcome You're to the right. Catskills, people. I know, right? Hey, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I, I used to leave a paperback. Now I leave my, my wife. wife. <laughs> uh, Thank you. Oh, Coaster is that on the drink? Coaster on the drink. Jeff. Yes, okay. yeah. Says Jeff. Oh, sure. Take my keys, please. please. <laughs> <laughs> and by keys, I mean kilograms of cocaine. <laughs> I'm just going to leave out here. Humor that is exclusively about drug peddling. <laughs> Would that would be a good bit, actually, is to just be like, I'm going to leave some valuables here. Just don't worry about it. It's just bags of coke. His bags are fucking blow. So I left my laudanum. Anyway. <laughs> you okay. got more awards, Brett? Yes, one more award. A very important award. It's the Al <laughs> Alzheimer the Game Ultimate Winner. Is uh uh wait what were we talking about? I know it's getting we? late. You want to you want to watch? You want to watch? Going, we're, watch we're watching Combo. You want to watch Combo? Combo's on. Combo's on. Gumbo and Thank Combo you. Tuesday. No. Let's let's go out <laughs> some. Tuesday. We're gonna eat Gumbo, watch Combo. <laughs> yeah, be good. You. Okay. I I miss my wife. Bone oh my god. That's the award. Those are hey. Hey. That got dark. That got dark. D O A R K. You know. Dork sided. Yeah. And, uh, dork. I'm not dork gonna, side like, of the moon. I I don't mind wrapping it up a bit early because I'm afraid we'll fuck it up. Like this has been a hell of a hundredth episode. I think I don't know. I think we're chilling. We're, we're good. rocking. We're rocking well, and rolling. Hey, you want to do? You want to do some? Uh, cool. Yeah. Let's do. Let's do some uh, titles. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 titles. yeah let's yeah. take a look at how all of yeah. the people in the chat have He's suggested titles. Title go this way. Uh, yeah. Okay. Everybody want to talk because about? Because I can okay. do that. Great. Thank you, Brett. Uh, here are some. Oh yeah. Oh, I, I was gonna ask. Uh, does anybody in the room know those uh, bumper stickers that said "Titty Bingo"? Yes. Why? Uh, that was a band. 
Right. Here in Austin. Right. And what was great about it is you can then buy, get multiple ones of them, cut them up and create other words with them. Right. Waterloo, you could do that too. Records. What's the farthest away you saw a titty bingo sticker? Uh, uh, Houston. I saw one in Colorado on a ski lift. What? As I was, somebody leaned the fuck over and put a titty bingo sticker uh, as the ski lift. Fantastic. Program. Great marketing. Uh, I guess. Kind of. I didn't even know they were a band, yeah. so maybe not great marketing. Yeah, maybe not so much. But we're talking about it, and this is earned, and that makes this earned media, actually. That's true. That's true. Sorry, That's I, true. I didn't mean to inter interrupt, Bryce. Uh, no, it's cool. Uh, we were going to take a look at some show titles over at nightattack.showbot.tv. Yep. Some of the titles that you included included 100, the emoji. That's pretty good. I also, like uh, that one. shouts out to the chat where Fe Fearless Freep suggests that we call this segment uh, uh, Title Wave. Title Wave. wave. That's oh. pretty good. We should have a tidal wave. Yep. No, like, uh, 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 yeah, okay. I, no, I get it. Titles, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some other titles. Waving too. Oh, okay. <laughs> Trying to be multi layered. <laughs> Bryce, are, are we allowed to do an emoji for the title? Yeah. Okay. Uh, some of the other titles, though, if we want to take a look at them, we got yes. uh, Class Holes. We got. Fucker in the dut. Fucker in the dut. <laughs> fucker, uh, fucker in the dut. In the or a dut. green room. Bit. That was green room, right? Yep. yep. Diamond anniversary. The okay. blue collar comedy tour. Peter Pan. There you shine. <laughs> <laughs> Would like to forget that part. Yeah. If you ever. <laughs> Mr. 100. Have you ever? Big <laughs> second star to the right. <laughs> and straight on till morning. If you, you might be a lost boy. <laughs> Three uh, years of man. If girl. you've ever been chased <laughs> by a crocodile with a clock in its belly, you might be Captain Hook. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Comedy equals bullying plus time. Oh, that one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Can you pass me the butter, jerk off? <laughs> If you ever found yourself chasing down a shadow in a preteen girl's bedroom, you might be Peter Pan. <laughs> He's got AIDS. That was a green room bit. He's got AIDS. He's got AIDS. God. Uh, let's see here. Night Bick. Uh, <laughs> digital Piss. Uh, Aquaman's Pants. If you've ever been able... <laughs> To imagine a food fight without actual food. You might be doing it, Peter. You might be playing with us. Uh, if you keep clapping and believing. <laughs> if you once were in Pretty Woman and find yourself opposite Robin Williams in a live reenactment, you might be Tinkerbell. If you did the voice of Zuko and also was in the movie Peter Parr Hook, you might be Rufio. <laughs> That's true. Yep. Uh. Okay. Mm -hmm. there we go. I think Any we're more? all done. I think yep. there's nothing. All right. Thank you to GJ. No, we use the emoji no. title for that. Yes. Uh, okay. Good 100, everybody. If Yay! you just offended Dustin Hoffman in a wig, <laughs> you might be exhibiting bad form, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, They're uh, all going to be about hook. Oh, God damn Really it. quickly, these, these. let's take a look at some <laughs> of the yeah, photoshops we got. We got a D's knees here. Yeah, those point. those are bulbous knees. <laughs> yeah, dude. You got God some damn. real poppers, baby. Uh, the if I did it. <laughs> Where did we get this John Cena? Why did we have jury John Cena? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's not even photoshopped. Yeah. Yeah. I, he was actually, that's just, yeah. that's just how I really look. I bear, I bear yeah. such a striking resemblance. Oh, the jean shorts. John yeah. Cena. The shorts. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right. Thank you, everybody, for joining us on a Tuesday. <sighs> We'll be back uh, with uh, we'll have some bones for you on Thursday. A special road bones. Mm -hmm. Road and bones. Road bones. Mm -hmm. bones. Uh, we got marbles next Thursday. We got stuff coming up. Uh, all sorts of stuff. Streams. Great all stuff. sorts. All sorts of stuff. Mm -hmm. All sorts. All sorts. It takes all sorts. Mm. You want to know what? It takes a village of sorts.
Of sorts. <laughs> of right. sorts. All right. that, 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 that's officially the sound we of officially the engine out of gas. <laughs> that's the tooth, last toothpaste gonna... coming out of the tube. Any other blue collar jokes? Uh, no. Okay, here we go. Okay. okay. Uh, good night, everybody. Good night.